In this video, we can discuss about production of enzyme peroxidase. So, what is peroxidase? Peroxidase are heme proteins and they contain iron 3 protoporphyrin 9 as prosthetic groups. And this enzyme is mainly found in higher plants and animals and some microorganisms. Now, how this peroxidase will act? They will react by the mechanism which is similar to the catalyst. So, it will catalyze the degradation of peroxidase and peroxidase, uh, hydrogen peroxidase. But the difference is the peroxidase enzyme will catalyze the oxidation of a wide variety of organic and inorganic substances like diphenols polyphenols, aminophenols, ascorbate, ferrocyanate, cytochrome C, etc. So, by the reaction, uh, while degrading the peroxidate to water and some other compounds, the substance along with the oxidizable substances will be oxidized. Now, what are the different types of peroxidase? Usually the peroxidase term represents a group of specific enzyme. It is not an enzyme, it is a group of enzyme such as NADH peroxidase, host peroxidase, glutathione peroxidase, iodine perox iodide peroxide as well as a group of non-specific enzyme. All this together is known as peroxidase. There are two super families of heme peroxidase have been identified. One is isolated from the plant, fungi and bacteria and another from the mammals. Now homologous enzymes of plant superfamily is again subdivided into three classes. Class 1 peroxidase of prokaryotics origin uh, which are intracellular and class 2 secretory fungal peroxidase and class 3 extracellular plant enzyme secreted into the cell wall or surrounding medium. So, this is the types of peroxidase. Now, coming to the production of peroxidase enzyme, it is usually done by fermentative method and it involves mainly four steps. First one is selection of suitable microorganism which will produce peroxidase enzyme and selection and formulation of the culture media which are required for the production of peroxidase, then production process which indicate the optimum condition for the fermentation process and finally recovery and purification of enzyme. So, let us see one by one. First one is selection of microorganism. So, as we mentioned before, the criteria for the selection of a microorganism is the microorganism should capable of producing maximum amount of desired enzymes and minimum amount of unwanted materials. So, these are the some sources of microorganism. There are bacterial sources as well as fungal sources for bacterial peroxidase as well as fungal peroxidase. Now, these are example for bacterial uh, source for bacterial peroxidase, Pseudomonas originosa, Serratia malescens. All these are lignin and magnesium type of peroxides and uh, Bacillus megatherium, Pseudomonas cupinensis and Pseudomonas stuceri. And sources for fungal peroxidase are Phlebia radiata, Aspergillus niger and Chrysosporium species. So, these are some examples of microorganism which are usually used for the production of peroxidase enzyme. Now, coming to the uh, most specific source that is Aspergillus niger which is usually isolated from the soil and orange fruit are used for the production of peroxidase enzyme. Now, how we will maintain the organism? Usually, pure culture are maintained in potato dextrous agar media that is PDA media at 4 degree Celsius. And this is subcultured at a 30 days interval for fresh microorganism. Now, coming to the preparation of inoculation that is usually done before going for the production process. 
Inoculation is prepared by adding 10 ml of sterilized distilled water to sporulated 5 day old potato dextrose slant culture and usually 5 percentage of the inoculum is used as, uh, uh, as inoculum in production process for the production of NC. Now this is the composition of production media for peroxidase enzyme if you are using aspergillus niger as the microorganism it include ingredients like uh, glucose 10 gram per liter yeast extract 2 gram ammonium nitrate 0.2 gram magnesium sulfate 0.5 potassium hydrogen phosphate 1 gram sodium hydrogen phosphate 0.4 gram and finally we have to adjust pH to 6.5 and uh, total volume has to be made up to uh, 100,000 ml. So this is, that is the preparation of uh, culture media for the production of peroxidase enzyme by using aspergillus niger as microorganism. Now coming to the third step that is the production of production process. Usually this is done by fermentation process in the ratio of uh, to an 100 ml of production medium we will inoculate with uh, 5 ml of inoculum with help of an sterilized disposal that means 5 percentage inoculum of working volume is taken as inoculum and this is incubated in a fermenter at a temperature of 25 degree celsius at a pH of 6.5 with an uh, rotary shaking speed of 160 rpm resolution per minute and for a duration of 12 days. So after the 12 days we will go for the fourth step that is the recovery and purification of enzyme. So after the production process we have to remove the debris by filtration or by centrifugation and then we have to remove the nucleic acid by precipitation by adding polycations like polyamine, streptomycin and polyethylamine. Then enzyme is usually purified by ammonium sulfate precipitation at 70 percentage saturation or by dialysis or by ion exchange or Cephadex G100 gel filtration chromatographic method. So that is the purification and uh, of uh, the peroxidase enzyme. So now coming to the applications of peroxidase, what are the uses of peroxidase? It is mainly used in analysis and diagnostic kits. For example, immobilized peroxidase enzyme based biostrip is used for the estimation of galactose in some food products. And also it is used for the detection of cholesterol level in the serum by using diagnostic kit developed by cholesterol esterase to hydrolyze cholesterol into cholesterol esters and further oxidate to cholesterol and hydrogen peroxide. And the released hydrogen peroxidate amount is determined by using host radish peroxidase enzyme uh, which will result in a uh, colored compound which is measured at 520 nanometer. So that is the detection of cholesterol level in the serum. Now another application is in immune assay, peroxidase immune assay. For this host radish peroxidase is used by ELISA method to detect antigen and antibody by producing enzyme triggered color change. Another use is peroxide is used as a biosensor usually with co-immobilized with hydrogen peroxidase producing enzyme to uh, determine glucose, alcohol, glutamate and choline. Now another use is in a, a paper pulp industry like manganese peroxide is used for bio bleaching for the paper pulp and it is also used for decolorization of synthetic dyes usually host radish peroxidase is mainly used for decolorizing as well as uh, decolorizing by degradation and precipitation of industrially important SO dyes such as ramazole and Sibacron red which are used extensively for paper printing, color photograph, textile dye and additive in petroleum industry. So peroxidase can be also used for, uh, for the decolorization of synthetic dye also. Now another uh, one uses de uh, deodorization of swine manures 
usually horse radish with calcium peroxidase is used for the uh, deodorization of swine manure and uh, also uh, used as a commercial uh, use of lactoperoxidase which is usually used as a preservative in cosmetics uh, which is usually preserved for 2 to 4 month which include lactoperoxidase, thiocyanate and hydrogen peroxide mixture. So, by using lactoperoxidase system it can be used for the preservation of uh, some cosmetics. So, that is all about the applications. So, uh, here we had discussed about the peroxidase production as well as applications of peroxidase enzyme. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.